Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Steve Kidd uh, from Power Photonic, and my talk this afternoon is on the easy way to beam shaping. As Power Photonic, we manufacture a, a quite a wide variety of freeform optical components from lens arrays, homogenizers, and diffusers, uh, coupling lens arrays, freeform, truly freeform optics, and aberration compensators, as well as beam shapers, which is going to be the, the topic of the rest of this talk. So focusing in on those beam shapers, um, we have beam shaper solutions for a range of laser applications. And, and the point of really beam shaping for these applications is to optimize them, to make them more efficient, to make more effective use of, of the photons that are coming from whatever laser source is being used. And uh, this is really applicable for laser materials processing high power for, say, cutting, welding, and heat treatment. Uh, it's also applicable to uh, laser additive manufacturing, particularly powder bed uh, laser additive manufacturing. But the, the, the beam shaping solutions are also applicable to, say, high power beam combining, taking many, many sources and, and potentially combining them potentially coherently as well. Um, also applicable to microablation. Um, and then if we move to uh, some slightly different applications, it's also very applicable for pumping of diode pump solid state lasers, where the pump beam may need to be a particular uh, both shape and, and profile in order for it to be optimized for, for it, the most efficient pumping that, that can take place. Um, and for biophotonics, there are sample illumination challenges. Sometimes the requirement to get a very uniform uh, beam to make sure there are no hot spots in there um, and at the, the right intensity across the, the, the sample. So in other words, there are many, many applications where the laser source needs to be very well matched both in profile and shape to the application that, that it's performing. Um, and that's particularly the case if the, 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 that laser light uh, is what I would call a, a series of expensive photons. If you have a, a cheap laser source or, or even LED source where the cost of the, uh, the, the light is relatively cheap, there are other ways of doing beam shaping that, that are perhaps not as efficient optically, but it, it doesn't make uh, sense to go to a, a, a freeform optical solution like the ones we're about to discuss this now. To give you some idea of the beam shaping capabilities that, that are there, um, if I segregate this into multi-mode beam shaping and single-mode beam shaping, we can have a quick look at the multi-mode beam shapes first. Uh, we cover uh, things from relatively straightforward rectangles and squares, also slightly more challengingly to lines, uh, to say circles with, with flat tops. Um, and more recently, we've seen a lot of requirements uh, and made a good number of beam shaper designs for ring shaped uh, spots. Uh, and in particular, we can look at various uh, rings through and, and in and out of focus as well. So quite a variety of beam shaping capabilities, starting from typically a, a, a Gaussian or quasi Gaussian, super Gaussian input, uh, input beam. We can also uh, take a, a slightly closer look at the, say, say the Gaussian to flat top uh, kind of beam shaper. Um, and here, this is again for our multi-mode beams. And by multi-mode, we mean those with, with uh, beam quality of n squared greater than five. Um, and a couple of examples here of us creating a circular flat top or a square shaped uh, flat top as well. Interesting to note, by the way, that, that all of our optics, including the, the ones that we use to make these beam shapes, are made in fused silica. Um, so they have very high power handling capability. And the designs that we write and make into the fused silica uh, operate with a very high optical efficiency. We can, we can often reach a high 90%, perhaps even 98% optical efficiency uh, of the input beam being converted into the output shape. Um, I can handle high powers, whether those are, are CW or very high power pulsed applications as well. So those are the uh, examples of the multi-mode uh, shapes. Single mode, we can take the same approach. We can make the similar kinds of shapes, but this time starting from um, a true single mode Gaussian uh, input beam. 
and convert that to square, rectangular, or, or these ring shapes, or, or circular or square flat tops. And one of the challenges is to try to do this beam shaping without adding a large amount of divergence. Typically, if the application has required a, a single mode beam to, to operate, you want to keep these spots as close as possible to diffraction limited spots. So, so the added challenge for us is to make sure that uh, we keep these spots nice and small. Um, so for the single mode case, the, 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 the flat top uh, performance is shown here um, and we can get very, very, very good flat top uh, performance with uh, excellent power in the bucket for these devices as well. Moving to the uh, multi-mode for the uh, ring shapes, we can use something called a prime, which we call a pseudo-random um, surface, but it's actually carefully and statistically manufactured to um, put light into this, this annulus structure. Um, it works very well for, for multi-mode solutions, uh, really, really very effectively. Uh, all of our beam shapers uh, are highly durable, and robust and long life, basically because they come from a pure fused silica substrate. Um, and the process that we apply to these, it makes the uh, surface very smooth and allows us to uh, handle very high power densities on the surfaces without, without damage. But also intrinsically low loss and low scatter as well. So the title of this talk was Easy Ways to Beam Shaping. Well, the, the, the standard challenge with, with, with beam shaping is to try to work with various forms of, say, anamorphic optics or bulk optics um, and, and various structures it can be quite challenging. What we can offer is a, a very easy, simple and direct route to beam shaping with often just a single optical component. We have a number of these on our website with predefined performance, but uh, our process allows us to, to make a modification to the design and implement that uh, modification uh, in a custom form. So if we're given a functional specification to convert some form of input beam shape and profile to an output shape and profile, we can then model and explain uh, how that can be achieved and what, what efficiency might be available at the end of the day. Once we've made it, uh, we have high resolution surface metrology to look at the, the surface and we can model the output and we can also make some direct measurements of output spots as well. We also have a freeform build to print surface that uh, we, we brand and, and call as Lightforge, where we can receive uh, surface files from, from customers with their own uh, unique requirements for a 3D surface. And if it conforms to the parameters of our Lightforge process, we can go ahead and, and manufacture that. If you'd like further details of, of these products or services, uh, then please visit us at our Photonics Plus booth uh, here today. Um, my, my colleagues will be around and available to, to answer questions. We also have plenty of information on our website, um, or you could get in touch with us on email. Thank you very much for attending this talk this afternoon, and uh, we look forward to, to hearing from you in due course. Thank you very much.